What? Great book. But today I need it to be. Today I'm going to show you the fastest way to pull selects or favorites out of Final Cut Pro 10 without even needing your mouse. So I recently switched from Adobe Premiere to Final Cut Pro 10. I've been on Adobe for the last five years and I made the switch because uh, really at the end of it, Final Cut is just way more optimized and uh, I had a MacBook. Uh, Pro, a late 2015 MacBook Pro, uh, and a really beefed up PC. And my PC is what I was using to uh, use Adobe Premiere, which had uh, 32 gigs of RAM, big graphics card, like everything I needed to be optimized, and it was still not handling 4K footage very well. And then I saw some videos uh, online of people that were making the switch and comparing the speeds between Premiere and Final Cut Pro 10. And so I decided to make give it a try, and I've just so far, after getting over a couple of the humps and, and, and changes and differences in the two programs, I've really grown to love Final Cut. And I'm now editing way faster than I ever did before in Premiere. And my computer, my late 2015 MacBook Pro, is still rocking 4K footage with no problems. So today what I want to show you is the way that I'm pulling my selects, because it's a little bit different. If you're coming from Adobe, uh, it's a little bit different than how you would do it in that program. And in Final Cut Pro 10, it's something called favorites. So what you do is you go through your clips and you find your favorites, and that puts them into a bucket you can go and look at, which has all your favorite clips. It took me a while to figure this out, but once I figured it out, uh, then I changed around some keyboard shortcuts, which I'm gonna show you today. And now, pulling selects, or pulling my favorites, is super fast, super easy, and I never have to touch the mouse. Which when you're editing, anything to avoid mouse clicks is huge and a big time saver. So let's jump into the computer and I'm gonna show you how I pull selects or favorites in Final Cut Pro 10. Okay, so I'm inside of Final Cut Pro 10 and I already have this project set up, which this is some footage uh, shot in Kauai in 2017. Uh, I'm working on an edit of all the clips and if I go in and show you all my different folders here, you can see that I shot uh, about 10 days worth of stuff and each one of these has a ton of clips inside of it. Uh, so I'm gonna go under my smart collections here. I'm gonna go to all video and that's what you're seeing right here. So this is all the video that I shot for all those 10 days, all the different cameras, everything that I have, all my clips, they're bucketed into uh, right now in alphabetical order. And so, you know, this is all DJI drone footage. Uh, this is my Canon 1DX2 footage. I have some GoPro footage. Uh, it's all here under all video. So one thing I love about Final Cut is it puts it into these smart uh, collections, which can help you find stuff pretty fast. So uh, what I want to show you though, is the way that I would set up this project and what I'm doing right now to go through and pull selects or favorites so that when I want to go into my edit and I'm starting to put things on over music, it's gonna be super fast and super easy to get the clips that I want and know that I only am looking at the good clips and the good portions of those good clips. So uh, to give you an example, I've already gone through all these clips and pulled my favorites. So if you look and you can see these kind of, these yellow boxes around these areas, these are all favorites, but the more important part if you can see here is this green bar lets you know that I favorited this area of the clip. So uh, that's a big thing to, to take into consideration. Uh, that the green bar means that there is something that's been favored in that in that scene. So, okay, let me show you what we're doing here. A couple things we have to do to set up before we can go through this process. So, shortcuts, what you're gonna do, set up a couple things. You're gonna go to Final Cut Pro up to the top, you're gonna go to Commands, Customize. Now, these changes are gonna make it so that as you're going through and pulling your favorites, uh, you don't have to touch the mouse at all and it can be all of your hands, and it can be all just with two hands on the keyboard and you're not having to lift and cross over and move and do different things. Your hands can just stay where they're at and it's really fast. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go and you're gonna type down up in the search bar. And then I already have mine set, but what you wanna do is you're gonna make sure that this down, this right here is set to D on the keyboard. Not with a modifier, no command, no shift or anything, just D. Uh, that's important and then to do the same thing. We're gonna go for up. We're gonna search up and For up you want to set up which I have down here. You want to set it to S 
So and if you don't know how to do that, how to change a, a command, you just select the one you want to change and then tell it which command you want it to be. So in this case, it's S, it's already there. But if I were going to change it, I could say Command S and it would do that. So once you have those two things done, you're good to go. Uh, the other ones are already set up automatically, but just in case you don't have them set up this way, you want to make sure you have the favorite command set to F. Uh, favorites is a different thing. You want favorite. Then you're going to want to make sure that your set range start is set to I and that your set range and that your set range end is set to O. If all those are in place, then you're good to go and you can hit save. And I don't need to save mine because I'm already good. You're gonna go here and now we're good to go and we're gonna hop into these clips and start setting favorites. One other thing before we start, if you don't see all of your clips like this uh, in this setup here, uh, where you can see the image and you see a big text list, that's this button up here. I'm gonna click that. If you see it like this listed out, you're gonna go up here and adjust this so that you can see the imagery. So let's get started. I'm gonna walk through about three or four clips and kind of show you this process. So starting with this clip here, I'm gonna click inside the clip. And now starting with my shortcuts that we set up, you're gonna start uh, playback, which is L. You're gonna play back, find the area that we like. K is pause, J is rewind, just in case you don't know that. Uh, so J, K, and L are basically the best way to scrub through your clips. And if you hit L again a second time, it'll speed up. This is all Canon 1DX2 footage, so it shot 120 frames per second at 1080p. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through now and find the part of the clip that I like. So I like kinda how that's, some of those stuff's flying off. So I'm gonna find the point that I like and start with I. Our first shortcut is I. That's the end point where it's gonna start. And once that flies off, that's good. O, I'm gonna set as my out point. So I like this portion of the clip only that's selected. You can see that reflected in the yellow uh, box around that area. So this is a clip that I like and I wanna make sure I save it as a select or a favorite. So now I'm gonna hit F. And after you hit F, you're gonna see that the green bar is above our yellow box, which is good. That means it's selected as a favorite. So I can go through this clip and let's say there's more than one part of this clip that I like. I'm gonna scrub through and let's say that I like this part of the clip as well. I'm gonna set a new in and a new out point. I'll hit favorite again. And now I have two different favorites from that one clip. So you can do this multiple times. Now here's where the, the production and the, and the workflow and the efficiency comes in is that the, the way we have our shortcut set up, now if you hit just our letter D, which is down, down is going to advance clip to clip to clip like this. S, which is up, is gonna go back up our selection of clips. So now you can advance and scrub through all of these raw clips really fast by using S and D. So basically we chose our favorites here. We're gonna go D to go to the next clip and do the exact same thing. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna find the point that we like. And so I'm trying to tell this little story here of this guy who's making these cool uh, animals out of these uh, these plants. So I'm gonna go through now, find a second shot that's a little bit closer that I like. And once I find the part that I like, so right there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna in point and then out and then favorite. Good, on to the next clip, hit D, go through. I'm gonna find the part of this clip that I like. I'm trying to find focus. As you can see, it was super windy. Now I got this clip set up here. I like that part, in point and then out point. Great, favorite. So you're gonna do this for all of your clips, all of your B-roll, whatever it is you wanna do, you're gonna find the in and out points. Once you've done this portion, now all you have to do is go up into the Smart Collections and go to your favorites. Now you're gonna see all of the clips that I've selected in this process. Uh, as my favorites or my selects. So now if I go to the bottom, we should see our last three clips that we just did. So now you can see these three clips. So if I go to this clip and play it back in its entirety, you're gonna see it's only the part that I saved as the in and out points. And then here's that first part that I did too. So that's it guys. Um, change a couple hotkeys and your hands are never gonna leave the keyboard, which is super cool and saves you a bunch of clicks on the mouse, which is great. So then basically what you can do is once you have all these selects pulled, you can make a new project. 
and call it whatever you want. I'll call it Kawaii Edit and say okay make sure your settings are what you want and now I have my timeline here you can take a track uh, a song if you have one and put it into your storyline and just start dragging and dropping all your favorites uh, once you know oops there we go drag and drop all your favorites and now you're going to be able to work on your edit it's going to be really cool so for this for example I'll show you kind of what I was thinking in this clip I was going to tell a short story of this guy who's making these things so we have clip here Cut in, great, and the final product. Uh, I'll probably go through and tighten up some of that a little bit, but now you can go through and do this to music, which is super cool. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more of these videos, let me know what you'd like to learn. As I'm learning through Adobe Premiere, uh, two final cut, there's a lot of things to learn and little tweaks that are different, but I'm going to try my best to share what I learned with you guys. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, do that. A lot more of this stuff coming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.